Significantly, it was a border issue that led to Monroe's defining moment in office. In December 1823, the president delivered a message to Congress and to the world. Ostensibly, he addressed a minor dispute between Russia and the United States over Alaska. But the speech contained a short paragraph that became his legacy. It stated, the American continents are henceforth not to be considered as subjects for future colonization by any European powers. The Monroe Doctrine is our statement that we reject European countries coming in and trying to acquire further territorial gains in this hemisphere. You stay in your hemisphere, we'll stay in ours. It wasn't until 1852 that people began calling it the Monroe Doctrine. By then, it was regarded as Monroe's greatest moment. And yet, he was not the true author. That's a wonderful example of how the presidency is becoming the central branch of the government. And the president is becoming so important. The Monroe Doctrine is written by John Quincy Adams, Secretary of State. But because it happens in Monroe's administration, it's known as the Monroe Doctrine. The end of James Monroe's presidency was a turning point in American political history. He was the last of the revolutionary generation, the last of the architects of the American Republic. <laughs>